I want you to take a moment, put your hand on your heart, lift your hand up, and say, Jesu, Kimaloi, Ntuse, which means Jesus, I'm a witch, help me. channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution I had to give you an extra long hi guys because ladies and gentlemen I regret to inform you that this is my very last video for the year <coughs> I will be back next year and next year marks three years on YouTube which is crazy and I just want to take this time to really thank you guys for all your love your support your subscriptions your comments your sharing literally I would be nowhere if it was not for you guys support so I really want to thank you guys and thank God for you guys and all your support we're gonna continue rocking next year baby baby um, I don't know when I will be back I'm gonna be quite honest I have been experiencing a little bit of YouTube burnout where I'm just I'm tired guys you know um, posting every single week for a whole entire year is not child's play between recording editing promo coming up with ideas um having to record and re-record because you don't like the initial thing taking down some videos or honestly so 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 much work and consistency is so difficult guys i don't know if people actually really realize but how many youtubers end up disappearing for like a month or two months or and then and then they'll come back and say oh my gosh guys i'm sorry i've been gone for so long and then disappear again it's not because of poor work ethic but it's because making youtube videos can be so difficult the views sometimes can discourage you or the comments can discourage you or you know things are happening in your life and then you must get in front of a camera and say hi guys welcome back to my channel it's not easy and i really try to be honest with you guys and and mention when I'm feeling sad or when I'm feeling down so that it doesn't always seem like it's always the good times the vibes the babies because sometimes it's not I promise you though I promise you I will be back next year but turn on my post notifications so you know every single time that I post and you'll know when I'm back baby baby anyway, now that we got that part out of the video Yo, 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 guys, we are at the end of 2020. So today's video is going to be about things that I have learned or that has been reinforced to me in 2020, a year that felt like it would never end. Personally, I must say that it was a very challenging year, emotionally challenging year. I, whoa, the sadness, the depression, oh my days, the isolation. Woo. It's been so challenging, but it's also been such an amazing year for me. I got a new job. I got straight A's, 4.0 GPA, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. You know what to do when we do how we do when we do it and it's done. Um, so I also got inducted to Honor Society, which is like for the top 30% students in my entire college. Great things great things i i hosted the black lives matter march and the bridging the gap event at my school which were like the first ever events like that that ever happened at my school that brought out the president of the school twice and uh, faculty staff students all alike god has been amazing to me this year like his grace has just been too much anyway and the reason why i'm mentioning all this stuff is first of all because i don't want to just talk about bad stuff all the time but also good stuff but also because it leads me to my first point which is what is yours is yours what is yours will be yours what is not yours will not be yours what i learned and i believe with all my heart and that's because of my faith in god is that whatever is meant for me will be mine something that i experienced this year i found myself with opportunities that i never applied for that i was never interested in 
but they found me you know and there were things that I actually did want that I never got what I've noticed is that from the moment I got here probably even before then God has been positioning me in order to get to this place where I am now so the point I'm trying to make is what is yours will be yours and God has already started positioning you to be in the place where you need to be to receive when God places you somewhere it will show that he put you there and no one can remove you because when God says yes no one can say no Lamentation 337 who is he that speaks and it comes to pass when God has not commanded it and what you need to do is number one pray that you have the grace to do what needs to be done when you're put in that position because to whom much is given much is required I don't know if you guys saw my week in my life vlogs it was two of them if you haven't go check it out the more you have the more you have to give and so you need to pray to God that you know he gives you the grace to handle what is given to you but also you need to be ready to receive before you say I want to receive are you ready to receive are you ready to work harder than anyone else are you ready to leave later than anyone else are you ready to be stressed and to be worried are you ready to work if you want to be a business person are you ready to work almost 24 7 are you ready to be blessed are you ready to be blessed when some people in your life are not blessed and thus are going to start separating themselves from you are you ready to be blessed you can literally follow someone else's path exactly you guys can do the exact same thing and the outcome they get may not be the outcome you get because it was not yours what is yours will be yours sometimes okay sometimes the reason why your things are not growing is because you're too busy looking at other people's business and you're not minding your own business and that's why your business is not growing the moment you look at someone else and what they have and you say man I wish what they had could be mine brought to me as in not wishing that you could succeed in your own way or that you could find success but you want their thing their success to be yours I want you to take a moment, put your hand on your heart, lift your hand up, and say, Jesu, Kimuloi, Mtuse, which means Jesus, I'm a witch, help me. Hey! Because witchcraft starts in the heart. It doesn't start with incantations. It starts with you wishing evil upon people. I'm not a witch. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen. This leads me to my very next point, which is, you know, sometimes when things are going bad, people are like, yo, guys, it's the witches from my village. It's the witches from my father's side. It's the witches from my mother's side. It's the witches. It's the witches. It's the witches. Sometimes, vibes, honey, my love, sometimes you are your own witch. Damn! How are you your own witch? You are your own witch because you self-sabotage. When good things happen for you, you always try to find a way to mess it up. You are your own witch by not preparing yourself enough for whatever role has been given to you. Also, you are your own witch because of the heart you possess. The Bible says that sometimes you ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss. Some of you, you want to be rich, not because, honestly, for no real good reason. You don't have a heart to give. You don't want to take care of your family. You want to be rich so you can stop on these niggas and flex on the gram you want to be rich because you want to manipulate people you want to be rich because you want to get all the hoes sometimes you are not receiving things because of the heart you have when you are making these requests and another thing is always wishing evil upon people the bible says that the violence of the wicked will return back upon their heads pretty much anything and everything evil that you sow against people will return back upon your head especially if these are praying people it will return back upon your head some of you your heart is a home for anger and hatred the bible says guard your heart above all else for out of it spring the issues of life if your heart is filled with hatred and anger and that's where the issues of life spring from what's going to come out of your heart what is going to come out of the things you put your heart into goodness not at all. The next point that I want to make is I am not responsible for the narrative that you have painted for me or about me. 
and what I mean by that is I am responsible for how I carry myself I am responsible for how I treat people I am just responsible for what I do I'm not responsible for the message that you paint of me in your head and that's your business honestly if you look at me and you think oh she's mean and she's horrible and she's intimidating and blah 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 that is a reflection of you not of me the oftentimes we find that the way people treat us is a reflection of them you know when someone treats you badly for no reason that's something i've had happen to me this year actually i've had two people turn on me for no reason it's sad. when i say i didn't do anything to these people anything 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 to these people they literally just turned on me unprovoked i really couldn't understand until i realized that honestly how people choose to treat you sometimes is a reflection of them and what they're going through and not you. Another thing is, don't believe people when they project their fears of you onto you. Like you want to start your business and they say, oh, but there's so many people in the industry or blah, blah, blah. They project their fears of you onto you. You must learn to reject those fears and say, those are your fears, not mine. I hear you. I reject it though, but thanks. And another thing I want to link to this point is, and this is such an important one to me, I am not going to carry the shame that you want to put on me. How many times do people try to shame guys? People are mommy shaming, fat shaming, shaming you for your skin tone, shaming you because you're a makeup person, because you're not a makeup person, shaming you because your relationship with God is like this and not like that. There's so much shame that people try to push on to us that maybe we never even felt in the first place you know that's one thing i'm letting go of and i'm aiming to live my truth i will feel ashamed for the things that that i feel ashamed for that my conscious and my moral code is saying no dude shame on you like you should be ashamed i will be ashamed but i will not be ashamed because you are projecting what you perceive as shame onto me or what is a shame to you onto me the best thing i've done for myself my relationships and this has been in my family and my friends is i have tried honestly i've tried i've done my part in making sure that we can have open uh, communication making sure that when i express myself especially when it's about criticism or whatever about someone else that i don't express myself in a way that is like i'm perfect you don't know anything you're a bad person but having conversations where we're just reflecting where we're learning where we're opening our minds to new things because so many times people say you need to learn how to take criticism you need to learn blah 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 but those same people don't check how they give you the criticism for instance if you don't like the sound quality of my video for a video you don't come and say your sound is so trash it's the worst thing i've ever heard in my life and then you expect me to receive that criticism well? No, because the way you're giving it is not going to make me want to listen to you. It's going to put me in defense mode. Yes, it's true. We do need to learn how to take criticism, which is hard for anybody, for myself, especially when it's your craft and someone is telling you like about your craft. I'm like, will you keep quiet? You don't grow that way. You don't grow when you don't listen to people. There are some videos I've had to take down because I had to listen to people. There are things that I've changed in my life and my channel because I had to listen to people, um, which the, the, the feedback made sense. The feedback makes sense. Another important one, learn to filter through the feedback because some people's feedback is nonsense. But as much as we need to learn how to receive criticism, we must learn to know how to give it, how to speak to people in a way that will encourage them to listen. The next point is people will remember how you made them feel. That's why words are so powerful because they remember how you made them feel when you said those words, the tone, the look on your face. Treat people how you want to be treated. Help people, guys, please. I can't stress this enough. If you are blessed, man, help people. The opportunity to help is the opportunity to receive. Blessed is the hand that gives than the one that receives. To help people is to help yourself. Not that you must give because you always want something in return, but when you give, guys, God really does pay you back. And you never know that someone who you give to today, hey, hey, years later, they will be the thing that you need. And they'll remember how you made them feel by that small gesture, by giving them your time or money or food. 
people will remember how you made them feel and if you have any beef with someone if you have made someone feel horribly if you spoke to someone horribly this year i definitely encourage you to put your pride aside an important lesson my mom taught me is if someone says that you've hurt them don't fight them meaning if i smack you and you are like ow oh my gosh that really hurts and you cry and i'm like ah dude don't be silly like it was a small tap it's not my body that felt the tap it's it's I, I it's not me and so if someone tells you that you have hurt me even though you don't seem to understand how something like that could hurt you hurt them make it right apologize believe people if they say you have hurt them the last point that i want to talk about is the most important point and that is it is not by might it is not by strength it is not by skill it is not by self-preservation it is by the grace of god people have died this year covid has taken millions of lives all over the world if you are watching this video you are not alive because you are so great at being in quarantine or social distancing or because your immune system is popping it is by the grace of God let us remember to give God the glory and not think that we are alive because we're all that because there's someone who is smarter than you holier than you richer than you better than you more good-looking more everything than you who's dead and death is final you can't negotiate with anyone it's that's it they're dead if you are alive I beg you give God the glory praise him Thank him, to God be the glory. And I've learned to praise him through it all. Through the pain, the hurt, the anger, the depression, the sadness, the confusion. Praise him through it all. Life is not always fair, but God is always faithful. Be grateful, use your life, use your time because other people don't have that luxury anymore. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Any video suggestions, comment down below, and I will definitely try and make them happen for you. Peace and love, guys.